This is my body, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel from the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel for March the 2nd, 2021, according to St. Mark. Then Judas Iscariot, who was one of the twelve, went to the chief priests in order to betray him to them. When they heard it, they were greatly pleased and promised to give him money. So he began to look for an opportunity to betray him. On the first day of unleavened bread, when the Passover lamb is, sanctified, is sacrificed, his disciples said to him, Where do you want us to go and make the preparation for, for you to eat the Passover? So he sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go into the city, and a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him, and wherever he enters, say to the owner of the house. The teacher asks, Where is my guest room, where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large room upstairs, furnished and ready. Make preparations for us there. So the disciples, the disciples set out and went to the city and found everything as he had told them, and they prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, he came with the twelve, and when they had taken their places and were eating, Jesus said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me, one who is eating with me. They began to be distressed and to say to him, one after another, Surely not I. He said to them, It is one of the twelve, one who is dipping bread into the bowl with me. For the Son of Man goes as it is written of him, would woo to the one to that one by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that one not to have been born. While they were eating, he took a loaf of bread, and after blessing it, he broke it, gave it to them, and said, Take, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, and all of them drank from it. He said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. Truly I tell you, I will never again drink of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. When they had sung the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives, and Jesus said to them, You will all become deserters, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go before you to Galilee. Peter said to him, Even though all become deserters, I will not. Jesus said to him, Truly I tell you, this day, this very night, before the cock crowds twice, you will deny me three times. But he said vehemently, even though I must die with you, I will not deny you. And all of them said the same. They went to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter and James and John, and began to be distressed and agitated. And he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and keep awake. And going a little far farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed that, if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. He said, Abba, Father, for you all things are possible. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I want, but what you want. He came and found them sleeping and said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not keep awake one hour? Keep awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And again he went away and prayed, saying the same words. And once more he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were very heavy, and they did not know what to say to him. He came a third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Enough. The hour has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up. Let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. Glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to thee. This is a beautiful passage of the Gospel. 
the preparation for the Passion of the Christ. But what is really important today is that we meditate on the words, This is my body. The 800 million of Reformed ones, the Evangelicals, the Lutherans, and all, and so and so, deny that there is that there still is a body of the Lord, and they contravene and contradict the very saying of the Lord, and they like to interpret those words, saying that it is the gospel, that it is the words, that it is the whatever it is that they want to, that it is like it what like it would be. But they don't agree that it is the body, truly the body and the blood of the Lord. There are 1.3 billion people with the Roman Catholics that go against the saying of the Lord when he said, unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, there is no life in you. Because their priests decided that they did not want to go the trouble to give them the, the blood. So they only give them their flesh according to their own designs and thus they break the covenant with God. If it was only one man, a regular man, named Jesus of Nazareth that lived and died and that was it, then everything else is meaningless. That he would say this is my body is meaningless because it would not have been true at all. It might be interpreted as the reformists like to interpret it and to be changed as the Romans love to do it. But then your faith, your ideology is absolutely a waste of time. You would rather um, try to uh, leap to the top with all the passions and stuff that the world will give you because that's your end. But if it is true that God Eternal, the Son Eternal of the Father, incarnated Himself on the Holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. And He is that very Jesus that said, This is my body. If it is true as it is, as it is written by St. Paul, that the whole universe was made by the Lord Jesus Christ, the very one that is saying, This is my body then it must be true that truly that bread has become his body. And this is paramount on your salvation. If that is true, then it means that you have to obey him in order for you to be saved. If your salvation is more than just your thoughts, if your salvation truly is to become heaven, then you have to be truly faithful to Christ. I will tell you and share with you that for almost a couple of years I have been a priest and I studied while with the Roman Catholics I read the explanation of Thomas Aquinas which is quite uh, mistaken and how on how God transformed or rather as they say how the priest transforms I am a priest and there is no such transformation that I am aware of it is God as much as I can see it, it is God himself who transforms, who transmutes the bread and the chalice of wine mixed with water into the body and the blood of the Lord. And it is true. And you can know that because it is so simple as this. There was a time when they had a very corrupt governor in the state of Veracruz in Mexico. And there were close to fifty, a hundred young children that were sick with cancer and this devious man wanted to save on the medicine of them among many other things and they were given a placebo they were given, they were given just some um, sweetened water and guess what? what do you think that happened to all those children that were sure that they were taking what they were promised to be taken, they died. They died because they did not take the medicine. And it is the same if you do not eat the body and drink the blood of the Lord. Even if you believe that what, you have, that what you're being given truly is that, 
but it's not. And you will die just as those children, thinking something that is not. You want to taste it? Come to the Holy Orthodox Church, where by remaining faithful as much as we can, we remain with God. For blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.